Hey everybody, JP from BigSexyBeast.com. I am in the Sprinter van and headed out to the uh, wilderness. It's 35 degrees right now. It's supposed to get down into a 12, 14 degree range here in town tonight. I'm hoping in the Cajadas we see single digits because I am testing out the new Espar diesel heater and we'll see how that works. Come along for the ride. Got the uh, Reflectix up in the back of the Sprinter van on top of the thin slate insulation. No wall panels yet. Uh, but uh, anyway, come along for the experiment. Got some uh, icicles up here in the Cajuto. It's 29 degrees right now. And like I said, I think the overnight low is supposed to be like 14. Um, in town and so I'm hoping for single digits up here uh, to really give the heater a good test we'll see we're climbing up and out we're probably at 2,500 feet now or so um, and we'll probably we're gonna camp a little bit lower than that just because of where I think I can get access um, right now in the van because they've got a lot of the gates and the forest shut out here so cruising along and uh, got an hour or so, yeah, a little over an hour until sunset. All right, I was just noticing we have a, a red flag warning, which apparently is because of high winds gusting to 40 miles an hour and low humidity, that's a fire warning. And then we've got a wind chill advisory that says that very cold wind chills expected wind chills as low as five below zero so should be a good test for the heater showing 34 in town with a low of 18 we're currently at 28 outside so that's six degrees difference than in town if the low is 18 in town that means we get to 12 we might see single digits i don't know if you can see or not but we're getting a little bit of snow flurry action um, nothing major. I don't think there's much of a chance of precipitation tonight, especially considering they've given that fire warning. So, Alright, a few additions to the van since you saw it last. I've got Thinsulate in the walls now with sound dampening mat. And I've got a Reflectix vapor barrier on the outside of that. Still don't have wall panels in place yet, kind of figuring out what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do there. Um, but this trip is all about this. And this is the moment of truth here. Uh, we're gonna try to get our heater going and we're gonna set it to set to 65 degrees. And let's set our time to infinity. And what that does is it is controlled by the thermostat. I don't have this attached to the wall yet. So there's infinity, if you can see it. I'm trying to get that to focus. Eh, it's not cooperating just right. Anyway, so that should get us started. It says it's 70 degrees in the van right now. Uh, when we're starting because that's just I've been running the heaters we're driving up outside we are setting at you can see that 28 degrees right now and I'll go outside you can get a little bit of snow coming down in the distance there some kind of accumulating on the windshield it's hard to see on the camera I think anyway I'll walk outside and show you kind of where we're camped this is the first time I've had the Sprinter van off-road, off-road. So let's uh, take a look at where we're camping. All right, we're up on a point overlooking Flat Top Mountain here. And we're kind of at this little bench, if you will, on the mountain. A little trail going right through there. There's the Sprinter. And I'll walk you up here to where we came in. Nothing uh, 
nothing major, but it is the first time that I've had the sprinter on anything that is what I would kind of describe as off camber. So let me walk you up here and I'll show you. Plenty of good gravel, so there's no loss of traction. But I don't know if you can tell that right there, but we got a couple of whoop de doos right here and right here. Again, in an FJ or a Tundra or something, I wouldn't even think twice about those, but the van's so long, got a little bit of flex, but no, uh, no sweat at all. And I don't have any concern about getting back out of here with the four wheel drive either. I think that'll be fine. So, can you see that snow? It's starting to come down a little bit more. Maybe with a little background there, you can see it. So, I think I'm actually going to do a fire tonight. I haven't the last couple of trips, but I think I will. I don't know, though, that wind's picking up. As you can tell by my windsock, that it's getting kind of windy. Negative five tonight with the wind chill. Whew. I don't know if we'll do a fire or not. That <laughs> wind is blowing. So there is a fire ring here and I'll need to pick some trash out. See a little uh, exhaust coming right there from the diesel heater. So my exhaust pipe is right there for the diesel heater. And they're a little sooty, they said, starting up. Went ahead and threw the mag magnetic uh, sign on here. Uh, tonight So The heater is kicked on you can hear it a little bit up in this front fender well because that's where my um, uh, Intake is So this will be a good test That's the reflectix I was telling you about. I've got it on both sides here. Behind that is the Thinsulate. Um, but then there'll be a wall panel that comes down here to cover that. And I think what I'm gonna do back here, based on a suggestion from Johnny, is I have some little built-in shelves right here. So, see how that goes. I've got an outdoor thermometer I'm gonna put up that I can read from inside for the test tonight. Okay, it's been maybe five minutes, and I can already tell I'm going to turn this down. Let's see, just the heater settings. I don't know if you can tell that or not. I'm going to turn it down to 60. That should cycle. Yep, you can hear it cycling down. So the heater comes out right there. I'm curious whether I'm going to have to have a fan to move the heat to the back of the van or not. I'd originally thought that I would put the heater somewhere more central here by the wheel wells, but my conclusion is, is that's end up going to be really difficult to do, and that's just such a nice spot for it under that seat that it's hard to pass that up. I'll do some chicken and vegetables tonight. I picked up a new, uh, a new seasoning. Kinder Master Salt, which is garlic, sea salt, and butter. So like butter flakes. Um, yeah. So, because I left my McCormick chicken at home. Temperature still adjusting on these because I just put the batteries in them. Uh, showing 61 uh, outdoor. I just put that temperature sensor outside. And 69 degrees indoor. Yeah, that's 58. It's dropping fast out there. Um, so we'll keep an eye on this through the course of the night to see how we're doing. All right, just got back from a walk in the woods for sunset. It's starting to get dark outside now. But uh, you can't do a good diesel heater test without uh, a basil Hayden old fashioned. So I'm going to get to work on that. Got ice cubes in the uh, Alpi Cool. It just occurred to me though, the one thing that I don't have is a shot glass. So measuring this is going to be a little bit of choose your own adventure. Uh, before cocktail hour begins, turn the diesel heater down to 60. And we are at 
29 outside, 60 inside, and headed downward. All right, this section of the uh, video is going to be dedicated to Matthew and his air fryer skepticism. So, chicken breast, um, and we've got this new chicken seasoning here from Kinder, which is garlic, sea salt, and butter. Got some black pepper on there as well. We've got squash with olive oil, salt, pepper, and cauliflower with olive oil, salt, and pepper. We'll put all of this together into the air fryer at once and do it probably about seven minutes aside on the chicken breast, and that's going to be dinner tonight. Didn't do too bad on the old fashioned, maybe a little bit more bourbon than uh, than intended without the shot glass, but we'll survive. All right, we're getting ready to call it a night here. Thought we'd check in on the thermometer and see how we're doing. It is... 25 outside, 57 inside. And the heater's still running right along, so... We'll check back in the morning and see how overnight we fare. That's a surprise. I didn't expect we were going to be waking up to snow. Hope that didn't make climbing that hill hard getting out of here. Um, we'll see how we fared on our heater test. It is currently, if we get our light right, 12 degrees outside and it is 56 in here. I adjusted the thermostat a couple of times through the course of the night last night to see where I felt like it was running the most efficient and ended up at around 62 um, and it didn't seem whoop, didn't seem like it had any trouble in the world uh, keeping up with it um, like I said it's 12 degrees outside right now and uh, 56 in here so the SBAR D2L um, works works good I'm going to get out here in a little bit, check out the snow, and I've got a thermal camera with me. And we'll shoot the van with the thermal camera, see if we've got any particular hot spots uh, where we might need some more insulation, and see if we can see the exhaust coming out of the diesel heater. Um, and then that'll wrap up, our, uh, wrap up our test. Well, the coldest I saw on the outside thermometer was 11. It's warmed back up a little bit now. It's 14. Uh, we're still setting at 60 inside the van. I just turned the heat up to 70 uh, just to see if it was able to catch up and and lift, but I'm sure it's going to be. Um, thermal camera battery is dead and I don't have a spare, so uh, we're not going to do that this morning. Seems like a missed opportunity, but we'll do it again later and post a little short uh, video about that. I'm going to make some coffee and some bacon and uh, then see how hard it's going to be out to get out of here with uh, with the snow.